tell you the last time we did this it was me hauling all this stuff you guys tell me is this excessive a wagon a rolly cooler a couple cabana our little cabana tent a couple bags stories beach chair over there we might be crazy but at least we don't have to go far we just got to go up over this little beach walk here and the beach is right there <laughs> can't we just like roll the cooler and kind of stack everything on top of it. And he's off. You know the drill though. You put in your code on the Passport app, zone 8569. You pay with your card and you're all set for the day. So 10 bucks all day, or you can pay by the hour. I think it's a couple bucks an hour. Just to be safe, we did the $10 all day thing because we might be here a while. It's beautiful. It's the perfect beach day. Not very crowded. See one person, a walker. Another group over there. Look at this man. God bless him. Okay, now that we have everything constructed and set where it's supposed to be, I can pick up the camera again and show you guys. This is what our beach setup looks like now. Did I show you this before? Our cabana? I don't remember if I did or not, but this was one of those Instagram things that kind of pops up as an ad and then I was like, oh. Because before, if you remember our old beach video, we had that little dome tent. It's, it's just seen better days. Part of the hardware is rusted and it's just, it doesn't work as easy anymore. So I saw this and I was like, I think this will be a good little addition. It's fairly simple. See the pole in the center? That's basically your umbrella stand. And then the, the arms pop out and then these whatever you want to call these pillars. There's not actually any hardware here. So it's just this uh, ripstop fabric. And then at the bottom is a little pocket and you just fill it with sand and that weights it down and keeps it from blowing away. And then you saw what it looks like all rolled up. It's pretty easy to carry. I don't remember what I paid because I got this at the end of the season last year. So I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in it. They come in all kinds of different colors and prints. I think I saw like a citrus one this year. And then they have like a navy and white striped one and all kinds of different, different colors. Story's upgraded to her own little beach chair now. We got this at Marshall's for like $10, I think, but it has a little umbrella attached to it that just kind of cranks down and then it folds up. And then we have our cooler in the middle with all of our drinks our sand rug, our chairs, and then all of our lotion and stuff in those bags. I did walk out to the water already and it is pretty frigid. It's not as bad if you're, if you're in it for a while, you know how it always is, but Story doesn't seem to mind laying in it apparently. <laughs> Here's another little tent I've seen lately, like quite a bit actually. It's basically a kite. You just kind of put, put it up and then let it fly. My family is over there working hard, so I'm gonna get some of these sticks because they're building a little sand village. Hi. Hi. I brought you some sticks. Oh, Looks pretty good. Are you gonna make a moat? Yep. Yeah? Are you helping daddy? Yeah? So Tim looked over and saw me laying in my chair and he goes, ain't no rest for the wicked. <laughs> Lunch time. What'd you bring, Story? <laughs> what is it? Oh, you got a candy bar. Are you so excited? Can I help you do it? Oh, mommy's looks messy. Oh, goodness. We got some Dots Homestyle Baked Cheese Curls. 
Story has her little Lunchable. Daddy has the old cold ham and cheese. I don't know where I left off. Lunch is over and the story could barely wait the 10 minutes to run out into the water again. Her and Tim are out there now and every every 10 or 15 minutes they'll come walking back up the beach and she's like, mommy come in and he's like, come in, get in the water. I want to relax. I want to tan. <laughs> but I went out there a few times. It's funny though because Tim's getting He's getting tired of like being out there and stories not. <laughs> I think I gave birth to a mermaid. Normally we would have left by now because she would have to like go take her nap and everything but we're starting to transition into that phase where she skips naps every once in a while and she does okay if she's engaged and you know there's something to do but the evening does kind of get a little difficult if she's tired. I think jumping in the waves and being in the sun and everything is surely gonna wear her out and I think it'll be an early night tonight because we're probably gonna leave here at maybe I think we said three-ish I think that's good for our first official beach day of the season but I remember when we used to come here as a couple before we had story and I would want to tan because that's what I do I'm a tanner at the beach I'm not one that's out there with a you know a boogie board or anything like that and Tim likes to go out and jump in the waves and do all that kind of stuff. And he was always like, come out there with me, come out there with me. And now he has Story to do that. But she's wearing him out. So now he gets a little taste of his own medicine. But it's good for him, keeps him young, right? It really is a perfect beach day though. It's about 79, 80 degrees right now by the water. Closer to the house, it's probably like 86, 87, I think is what it said on the weather. It's always a few degrees colder um, by the water because of the wind and it's just cooler by the beach. But it's perfect, it's, it's dangerous because you don't really feel hot because the wind is blowing. But it's definitely warm. Uh oh, Tim's waving at me. Can you guys even see him? They're right there, these two little, little dots. I think they found something. I also wanted to mention if anybody is following the Folly Beach Pier construction updates, some of you might be, some of you probably don't even know about it, but I think I mentioned it in our last beach video, but they're redoing it and they've been working on it for maybe a year at least now. And they did open up the restaurant, the Pier 101 restaurant, and then the, um, the gift shop. So you can go down there and shop and have something for lunch or dinner but you just can't walk all the way out to the edge of the pier. Fishing is also obviously closed until the spring of 2023. So we have about another year to go before you can walk all the way to the edge of the pier and fish or whatever you wanna do at the end of the pier. They have public restrooms down there too. So if you need to use those, you can do that. So one of these days we'll make it down that way. Maybe do lunch and walk up and down Center Street. We can look at some of the beach shops. We'll find a time for that. We are encroaching on tourist season, so it's about to get really, really busy in that area. That's why I like to come down here because it's just, as you can see, not crowded at all. I mean, what, there's one family here and then another, I don't know how many yards, but look how far away they are, the other people. So, and then this way, I just showed you. There's a few random people here and there, but for the most part, it's just us in this area. Definitely worth the $10 to park in that little paid lot and then just be right here next to the water. If you're coming here on vacation, I would highly suggest coming down this far instead of staying up there by the touristy section or like, you know, the main, the main hub. I know that's where everything is, but if you work out your day the right way, you could just spend part of the day at the beach and then maybe the other part over there with all the, the gift shops and the restaurants and stuff like that. I don't know. That's just my advice.
like that, our beach day is over. Oh my god. <laughs> Tim just nailed himself in the face with his chair. <laughs> Daddy's silly, isn't he? Did you have fun today? Good. Are you ready to go have a treat in the truck? A truck treat. The water got you in the eyes? Oh my goodness. There were some big waves today, huh? All right, Daddy ready? <laughs> oh, pack mule. There he is. Loaded down. <laughs> Say bye, people. Bye.